guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Rebuilding the NBA Teams. In the last episode, we rebuilt the Houston Rockets, but today we're going to be rebuilding the LA Clippers. So, LA, they have literally have only been a second round team ever since they've had, you know, Blake Griffin, Chris Paul, JJ Redick, Jamal Crawford, and all of them. They just keep making it in the second round, even though this team, oh, I'm not, I forgot I'm not connected to the internet. Um, even though, even though this team can win a championship, they have the potential to win a championship, but they haven't done it yet. So the roster starts with Chris Paul, uh, excellent point guard. Blake Griffin, excellent power forward. DeAndre Jordan at center, excellent center as well. JJ Redick, good shooting guard. Jamal Crawford, great six man. Austin Rivers, Murray Spates, Brandon, ba Brandon Bass, <laughs> Raymond Felton. I, I can't say that name. Paul Pierce. Wesley Johnson, Bryce Johnson, Allen Anderson, Diamond Stone, and that's it. The first move I will be making, I think I'm going to be trading away Chris Paul. He's 31, he's probably going to progress down, and we need to go younger. And let's see who we can get for Chris Paul. And I'll be making, I'm not rejecting this. Kyrie Irving for Chris Paul. Kyrie Irving gets better, and Chris Paul and Kyrie Irving are both great point guards, but... We need to go younger, and Kyrie Irving is definitely younger, and Chris Paul can join LeBron James. So after that, literally all this team needs now is a better small forward. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that this season, and maybe an upgrade at shooting guard. Uh, actually, Austin Rivers has a hefty contract, so let's see what we can do with Austin Rivers. And... Let's go ahead and just look at the contract situation if he's not the only one. Kyrie Irving doesn't have too bad of a contract for how good he is. DeAndre Jordan and Blake Griffin are probably safe on this team. Jamal Crawford, his contract's kind of up there. And he's up there in age, so we might be looking to trade him as well. And Austin Rivers has a pretty hefty contract as well. So let's see what we can get for these two. Package them up, and let's see what we can get. Next trade I'll be making, I'll be sending Jamal Crawford and Austin Rivers for TJ Warren and Jared Dudley. I'll be ruining my bench quite a bit, but we do get a better starting small forward. And that's definitely what this team needs. So after that, how does the roster look now? We definitely need to fill in some holes on the bench. Maurice Spates is now our sixth man. Richard Jefferson off the bench. I don't mind that. Jared Dudley and Brandon Ass, as Crispy Flakes would say. Uh, but Brandon Bass, uh, I'm either going to trade Brandon Bass or Jared Dudley and Raymond Felt can jump up in there. And we're going to grab a backup shooting guard, hopefully. This is the trade I'm going to be doing. I'll be sending Brandon Bass and Jared Dudley for J.R. Smith. We get that backup shooting guard and Raymond Felton can just jump up in the rotation. So we'll have a backup point guard. The bench isn't that great, but the starting lineup's pretty legit. So hopefully we can do good our first season. And I think this team can win a championship this season if they, if need be. Obviously, that's need be. Isn't that the goal? But anyway, we're going to go ahead and start simulating to the end of the season. So at the end of season number one, Russell Westbrook wins MVP with averaging a triple-double. Ben Simmons wins Rookie of the Year. Jared Soldier wins Sixth Man of the Year. That's different. Andre Drummond wins Defensive Player of the Year. And D'Angelo Russell wins Most Improved. And Doc Rivers, our coach, wins Coach of the Year. Yes, we went 57 and 25. Um, no one on our team makes All NBA team. Oh, Blake Griffin makes All NBA second team. And did I miss anyone? Oh, and Kyrie Irving made the All NBA second team as well. So two of our guys made the All NBA teams, and I'm guessing DeAndre Jordan might have made the All Defensive teams. Yeah, he did the second one. All right. So we're the second seed, but at at one point towards the end of the year, we were the first seed. So it couldn't have been that. Um, couldn't have been that far. Yep. So we were two games back from the Warriors. This was a pretty close conference this year. Um, uh, Cavs just, you know, blowing everyone away. Let's look at the stats. Kyrie averaging with Adrian, aver, <laughs> averaging 25 and almost 10. Blake Griffin with 20 and 10 and 11 rebounds. JJ Redick. With 14 points and DeAndre Jordan averaging a double double and TJ TJ Warren who we traded for averaging 13 points I had the choice between TJ Warren and Tobias Harris and since T 
TJ Warren was cheaper and more younger. I grabbed him. So, first team we have in the playoffs is the San Antonio Spurs. They should have the same roster. I don't expect them to be any different. I wouldn't think they would be. Oh, uh, no, not really. They're the same. Which is kind of concerning concern because, you know, even though they're the seventh seed, the Spurs are still a really fantastic team. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Oh, seven game one, and they won game one. All right. They win, or we win game two. We win game three. Win game four, and, oh, San Antonio. Oh, we're going to this game seven. I don't like that. Or hold on, just let me fix it over here. I was going to try to fix it elsewhere, but all right. So let's simulate game seven. Oh, no way. The Spurs, are we going to creep? Wow, we got eliminated. I'm shocked we're the second seed and we got eliminated. So 2K just, you know, kind of screwed us over, but it's okay. I think we might actually be able to sign someone for the minimum, maybe. Like, you know how when... Veterans want to come, not the minimum, but when veterans want to come to teams just to win a championship and the Blazers win the championship, led by Damian Lillard, that's awesome to see because I'm a Blazers fan, obviously. I wish that would happen. But anyway, let's go straight to staff signing. And I want to keep Doc Rivers or, you know, negotiation and trade is what I need to have. So Steve Kerr. Um, is great at that. He's great in all categories. And Kevin McHale doesn't have a bad one either. And then everybody else sucks. So let's grab Kevin McHale too. And Doc Rivers. Because, you know, he was our coach last year. Doc Rivers accepts. But Steve Kerr is a better coach. So I'm going to give Doc Rivers an L and let him walk. So Steve Kerr is our head coach now. Let's go straight to the NBA draft. And let's see. Anybody, the, any of these guys have an expensive, ridiculous contract I don't really need them to have. JR, maybe. Yeah, I think we're going to try to trade JR. That's cap. Or, you know. I mean, we don't really need to sign anyone that, like, tremendous. Maybe bring back JJ Redick. Do we keep, do we keep JR? I mean... We actually have quite a bit of cap room. Maybe I'm going to try to trade JR. I'll see what I can do. Find a single good trade for JR Smith. The best one was Monte Ellis, which is almost the same player, really. So um, we just offered Blake Griffin and JJ Redick a contract. I don't think we're going to be able to sign anyone too good. I don't think we really need to at this point either. Um, we just need role players that's basically what we need. We more, need more role players, and hopefully Blake Griffin comes back to us. So I will just let you guys know who I get to signing. So Blake Griffin decided to sign with the Brooklyn Nets. So we literally just lost Blake Griffin, which I am shocked because he usually comes back. Wow. Okay. So we literally just lock, lost Blake Griffin. So we are in trouble now. We need to, we need to grab someone now because... And Paul Millsap, why do you ask for that much money? I don't get it. I'm We're in trouble. I need to sign someone for trade bait badly. I cannot believe Paul Millsap or Blake Griffin just walked out on us. I was not expecting that. So now I am in a terrible position. Why do, you, why do these people want so much damn money? Greg Monroe. That is still a lot. We are in a lot of trouble. We're, we're in some trouble now. So, let's hope we get Jeff Teague and J.J. Redick went to the Pacers. So, we literally just lost everybody I wanted. So, we have $12 million in cap to grab people still. I can't believe he just left us like that. So, I just grabbed Jeff Teague as a backup point guard. I don't know if I'm going to keep him or I'm going to trade him for trade bait. He'd be a good six man. T.J. Warren. And we don't have a power forward anymore, which that is terrible. 
terrible position to be in. So we have 12 million in cap. We need to sign a power forward. So let's. We can't sign Serge Ibaka. Taj Gibson is gonna have to do for now. Hopefully we can trade for a better power forward. I just can't believe like we lost out on everybody like that. So hopefully Taj Gibson falls to us. Plumlee can't sign you. We sign Taj Gibson and Kyle Corver once it goes to the Cavs. So uh, Roberson come to uh, us. All right. Uh, I don't know who else we need now. So we have a backup point guard. We have some shooting guards now. We have a backup small forward, kind of, in Richard Jefferson. We don't have a power forward at all. Or now we have Taj Gibson, I guess. And we have a backup center. So really we need a backup small forward, maybe, to back up TJ Warren. Let's just see what we can get. I just grabbed Robert Covington, and I think I'm going to be done. Blake Griffin leaving us is just a huge shock to me. I was not expecting that at all. So now I'm kind of in a position where I have to try to grab a power forward. So I will see you guys at the beginning of next season, and hopefully we can make a trade for a power forward to become a championship team again. So not so sure what's so special about JR in a second round pick for Tristan Thompson, but I'm taking this deal. I need a power forward, and that'll definitely help us out. And we're going to try to find a better shooting guard as well. So that's definitely not what I was looking for, but I do get Ian Clark to come off the bench and Channing Fry for Robert Covington and Wesley Johnson in our first round pick. Don't care for our first round because this is the last season, and... This is the lineup. Kyrie Irving, Andre Roberson, TJ Warren, Tristan Thompson, DeAndre Jordan, Jeff Teague, Taj Gibson, Maurice Spates, and Ian Clark. So our bench is a lot better this time around. Jeff Teague coming off the bench as our sixth man will be awesome for us. Tristan Thompson ain't no Blake Griffin, but he will get the job done. And we don't have J.J. Redick anymore, which is upsetting. But hopefully we can do fine. I will see you guys at the trade deadline because I'm not – so confident in this team just yet, but I think I can make more moves at the deadline. The trade deadline, we are 33-23, and 23 and we are currently on an eight-game winning streak. Not what I wanted to be, but let's go ahead and see what's going on. Kyrie Irving carrying the team with 27 and almost 10. TJ Warren is helping him out a little bit. DeAndre Jordan and Jeff Teak is coming off the bench and doing his thing. 10 points, almost averaging a double-double. Now, here's my problem, though. Kyrie needs some help. He's not going to be able to do this the whole season. He needs someone that's going to score with him, who's going to average 20 with him. I just don't know who's the one that needs to go. Because we do have a hole at shooting guard. Hopefully, we can grab someone different. But it needs to happen. We need to find someone different for Kyrie Irving. Searching through these trades, I literally didn't find anything. The closest thing I found was TJ Warren. And Jeff Teague for Marcus Smart and Jay Crowder. But Jay Crowder is not doing as good as TJ Warren is. So we're just going to have to roll with this team and maybe run this uh, rebuild for a third season. I don't know. I couldn't find anything, like nothing, literally nothing. I almost traded DeAndre Jordan for Chris Bosh, but then I was like, no, that's probably not smart. So we're just going to have to roll with this team, and hopefully they'll do me good. End of season number two, Curry wins MVP. Gil Gilbert Westbrook wins Rookie of the Year, so I guess Westbrook's little brother is uh, coming in this league to dominate. And Jeff Teague wins Sixth Man of the Year. Awesome to see. Anthony Davis wins Defensive Player of the Year. Montrezl Harrell wins Most Improved. And Sidney Lowe, Coach of the Blazers, wins Coach of the Year. Um, that is unreal. Let me. I want to see who the Blazers have. So uh, Curry, huh? no one from our team made those teams. Uh, here is Kyrie making it and I wouldn't expect anyone I'm just I'm still upset that Blake Griffin left us like I was not expecting that so we are the fifth seed I really curious on who the Blazers have that they went 63 and 19 
Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum. Literally, they didn't change. They signed Tyler Johnson, and that's about it. And maybe drafted this guy, whoever this is, and Ilya Sova. Like, they didn't change too much. Like, they didn't grab anybody significant like Kevin Durant or anything. They just went 63-19. and 19. Okay, we're just going to jump right in these playoffs after we look at the statistics. Kyrie, basically, they look the same. Really, no reason to go through them. So, we are facing... The Spurs first, just like last year. Hopefully, we win this time around. They still have Kawhi. They still have Aldridge. They have Powell. But that's it. We have a big three just like them. But their big three might be a little bit better than ours. But you know what? I'm not giving up. We can beat this team. They only won two games more than us. If we win game one, great sign. We took one at their home. We could go up two. Can we go up three? Oh, they're probably going to even it up. They do. Oh, come on. I really... I really don't want to lose. But we... Oh, and I simulate game and lose. Oh, my gosh. We would have gotten knocked out by the Warriors anyway. So, you know what? Let's run this back again because I'm not giving up. There are some free agents aside. And the Blazers won again. Like, literally, when I rebuild the Blazers, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to... Literally not change anything, so let's do this quickly because we need to make some moves. Why do we have Kevin McHale all of a sudden? I thought I signed whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, I thought I signed Steve Kerr, but you know, 2K, Ronnie 2K, whatever. I have Kevin McHale. Even though I thought I signed Steve Kerr, maybe I'll go back in the video and maybe I didn't. So, who are these? Uh... DeAndre Jordan might be a free agent. If we, you know, I wouldn't mind letting DeAndre Jordan walk to try to get Cousins and partner him up with Kyrie. Tristan Thompson, let me look at the contracts and see. Does DeAndre Jordan, he has a player option, so he can opt in. That's his choice. Thompson, 17, 18. I might, I'm going to trade Thompson and get someone cheaper because I did see cheaper options out there. And then we got to sign some role players. Man, we got to win a championship next season. This is my last shot. So I'm going to simulate this whole offseason. I'll show you guys what I do. And you'll see me at the beginning of season number three where we're going to win that championship. I, I literally just had the craziest offseason. It is crazy. I will show you guys what happened. So first, all right, first let's get into the team. We have Kyrie Irving, Iman Shumpert, Paul George, Miles Turner, DeAndre Jordan, Dirk Nowitzki, and TJ Warren. Crazy, crazy stuff. Let me show you guys how this all happened because I did not show it because I didn't want the video to be too long. Um, Let's see. Trade. Jay Crowder. So I um, traded Jay Crowder and Sean Livingston for Miles Turner. I signed Sean Livingston. I traded Jeff Teague straight away to free up cast space. I traded uh, Taj Gibson. I traded Tristan Thompson for Jay Crowder. And I think that's all I literally did. And then, um, let's see, where is my signings at? Uh, I don't see them. Uh, Clever signed Iman Shumpert. So that was like literally one of the last things I do. I just want to make sure you guys don't think I just like faked all of that. I legit just did this. I signed Al Jefferson too. I signed Dirk Nowitzki. I signed Paul George. It's crazy. And just so you guys also don't think I'm lying, I right now, you know, you guys obviously know the Blazers just won uh, two years in a row, and here they are again. So I'm definitely not lying about this offseason. But we do have a hole in shooting guard. So we need to do something about that. But then I am confident. I am very confident. This team is winning a championship. There's no way. No way 2K screws us over this. I would be shocked if we get screwed over. So hopefully I can just grab a quick shooting guard and a better bench provider. And that should be the end of it. And we can just start simulating. So Iman and TJ Warren might get traded. Because I'm going to keep... Or Dirk. Because TJ Warren... Uh, actually has like an A-plus potential now, so he'll probably come off the bench and do us really good. So let's see what I can do. What's up? 
Uh, Chris Middleton is going to come to the Clippers because we do have a big hole at shooting guard. And we can make it a mediocre bench. So I got to trade TJ Warren for Chris Middleton. That's just what I need to do. Um, now everything should look awesome. The bench is awful, so we need to change that up a little bit. We just need to grab two more decent players. I don't even care. Just better than 72 overalls. And that should be the end, and I should start to simulate. This is the final lineup. Kyrie Irving, Chris Middleton, Paul George, Miles Turner, DeAndre Jordan. Dirk is our sixth man, which is an awesome sixth man to have. Al Jefferson, Michael Carter-Williams, and Justin Anderson. So what I did was... I was just flipping players to try to get our bench better. Got Chris Middleton, um, then, got, then got Dwight Powell and Tony Snell, then got Michael Carter Williams and Kyle Quinn, and then got Justin Anderson. So I will see you guys at the end of the season. Season number three, LeBron wins MVP, Randall Cross wins Rookie of the Year, Thaddeus Dunn wins Sixth Man of the Year, and Anthony Davis wins Defensive Player of the Year, and Julius Randall wins Most Improved, and Ronda Adams wins Coach of the Year. First team is. Uh, we don't have anybody. I'm surprised we don't really have anybody on these teams. We do have Paul George on the all-defensive second team. And we were the second seed. Let's see who is. Warriors above us by two games once again. Let's go ahead and look at the player stats, and then we'll jump right into these playoffs. Kyrie Irving with 25 and Paul George with 22. And Chris Middleton with 16 and Dirk with 13. Let's just go ahead and look at the Spurs roster real quick, see if anything's changed. It's literally the same, so hopefully they don't beat us again this time around. We won game one, we won game two, they won game three, they won game four, we won game five, and we move on. Thank God I did not want to lose the Spurs. So now we face the Rockets. Let's see if they've changed at all. No, they really haven't. Oh, uh, they got Kim Bazemore and Brendan Knight. We can beat this team. Let's just please do it. We won game one. Win game two. They win game three. Oh my gosh, please don't even it up. Okay, now we got the Warriors next. If we move on, and we do in six. Let's see if the Warriors are still the same. I bet they are. Yep, they literally still have the same team, but their bench is awful. Literally just have centers. So hopefully that gives us the edge. All right. We win game one. They win game two. We win game three. We're up 3-1. Yes, we move on, and we're going to be facing Cleveland. Let's see. LeBron. Oh, they have Chris Paul. I forgot I traded, and then Chris Paul stayed with them. Kevin Love, but they don't have Tristan Thompson anymore. So I blew up their team a little bit. They won game one. They won game two. We won game three. We won game four. We won game five. Let's see if we make it in. Come on, win this, win this. Are we gonna win? We do, and I wasn't able to stop it. So we are the champions. I wasn't able to stop it for you guys to watch the celebration this time around. But that is the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching. And this is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.